themselves. See the hooks weed. Revelia. Revenia.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Excellent. You'll never believe what I... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how we fret about the Dark Arts. I promise. I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. 
But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Rebellion. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel Rebellion.
Aloha Mora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Been having strange dreams of late. You should analyze. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
Velio. Rebellion. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion.
think like a stone. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Ones Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the Ministry, then the Mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the Mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you! The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Nerida an artifact? Revelio. Lumos. Confringo! Lum. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Confringo! Lumos. What do we have in here, then? Nerida will be happy about this. another adventure, are we? Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard! It's marvellous! I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this.
Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Akio! What was I thinking? You'll have to do better than that. Akio! Yes! <laughs> oh, how am I to top that? That settles it, then. <laughs> After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say, if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after Charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets! How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly! He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? 
Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Rebellion. Ha! <laughs> 
Bethenia. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Himself would be proud. <laughs> Ravenia. Who needs keys when you know Alohomora? Hello, might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? Ravenia.
Everything's all right now. Rebellion. I'm safe to explore in there. Feet didn't turn into beads. That's a good start. Should have known a herbologist would use devil's snare. Uh, a troll? You can't be serious. Duke certainly left behind more than plants.
a sarcophagus. This that should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it...